Hello friends, I hope everyone is fine. In this video, we will talk about the uh, dexamethasone, which is being so much now used in uh, different, different countries, especially Pakistan, in context of the COVID-19. In March 2020, the Oxford University, they have started a trial for the use of the dexamethasone against the COVID-19 along with so many other medications. They wanted to know which medications can be very effective against the COVID-19 patients. So what did they do? They enrolled almost 1,015 patients uh, from 175 different hospitals of the national health system. Now the name of the study is recovery trial and this is the abbreviation of the randomized evaluation of the COVID-19 therapy. Now, why they call it randomized? Because they randomly divided the patient in two groups. One of the group wa uh, contained 2014 patient and these were the patients who were given dexamethasone either in injection form or oral form. They were given 6 milligram once a day for at least 10 days. And the other group which we now call the control group it contained or it had 4321 patients and these were the patients who were not given the dexamethasone and they were put on the routine medications against the covid 19 which were being used at that time so at the end of the uh, uh, this study which recently they have stopped and they had seen a very important finding that all those patients who were receiving dexamethasone and they were either on oxygen therapy or they were on the ventilator, there was 25% in reduction in the mortality in those patients. But those patients who didn't receive the dexamethasone, they, had, they didn't have this benefit in the mortality. So they concluded that all those patients who are suffering from the COVID-19, they've been proven positive by using the PCR and they had sign and symptoms of the coronavirus infection and when they required oxygen in some form, be it in the nasal cannula, be it on the face mask, non-rebreather mask or any other form or they ended up on the ventilator. They had seen that these patients had the maximum benefit of the dexamethasone but otherwise those patients who do not require the oxygen therapy, they should not be given the dexamethasone. They will not have any benefit of its use. Why? Because in the early days of the coronavirus infection, our immune system is trying to get rid of the virus. It's having a fight against the virus but if we start using dexamethasone in such situation then this dexamethasone will suppress our immune system and it will favor the virus rather than our body but all those patients who have started using the oxygen therapy they have deteriorated and they are in need of some f form of the mechanical ventilation uh, for their uh, uh, deteriorated condition these are the patient where we see the immune system working against our own body so their dexamethasone will have its action it's 25 times potent as anti-inflammatory and immunosuppressive medicine so it will stop it will try to stop the cytokine storm it will try to sort of suppress the immune system which has now been starting started working against our own body so dexamethasone when it is given in a dose of 6 milligram uh, uh, either in the oral form or iv form will be very effective against uh, the that immune system so this is a very important concept of knowing that not everyone needs this medicine. Dexamethasone has been used in the past in different diseases like the bacterial meningitis, tuberculous meningitis. Why we use it? Because once the antibacterial or anti-tuberculous medications are used in these conditions, then there are certain uh, toxins, endotoxins which are released because of the death of the uh, bacteria and the mycobacterium. Then this steroid will take care of those endotoxin because if we do not give uh, steroid in these condition then patient can even deteriorate further other than this asthmatic and uh, a severe ARDS patient who, who have gone into the septic shock in those patients we were also using the dexamethasone it is normally these steroid they are released from the cortical uh, portion of the adrenal glands which are sitting right on top of the 
uh, kidneys. So, uh, but we should always remember one thing in uh, use of the steroid for a long period of time is not in our uh, favor because it can aggravate your diabetes, it can uh, upset your hypertension and it can actually cause the hypertension. It can cause the osteoporosis, it can turn your face into the moon face, it can change your body habitus and you may look like buffalo and because it causes the buffalo hump, it also causes the myopathy and there will be certain behavioral changes if someone is using for uh, these medications for a long period of time. These should not be stopped very abruptly because if someone is using steroid for a long time then they are to gradually taper it down until one one goes to the uh, taper off point. So these are the some basic facts about the dexamethasone and I hope uh, Oxford University will be able to even release uh, the vaccine against the COVID-19 uh, in combination with the AstraZeneca which they are working uh, very effectively on. So uh, I hope it gives some idea. Thank you so much for watching the video.